Okay, guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. And we are in Lakay, I believe. Ah, oh, my dead eye has improved. Fatal areas will now be highlighted. They're like red spots. I saw them in one of the last scenes. So I think now we're going to head over to Sadie. I'll just find my horse. Let's get up. Yeah. All right, we're heading into Saint Denis. Can't can't travel much faster than this. And we're off, guys. We are off. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Saint Denis, we've already made it. Up the road, and we're going to make our way. S A, which I do believe is Sadie. I'm just a bit wary that we might be wanted in this town. What? Can't. Can't. Oh. <coughs> what? Oh damn, Arthur's down, he's sick. Or has he been poisoned? Here we go. Someone's dragging me. That's all we can see. Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. Oh, that's nice. Someone's helping me. I can't actually move. Come on, it's not far. Just down the street here. Yep. Let's walk. Yeah, I'm definitely sick. There is blood coming out. Blood. Coming out of my mouth. Not my mouth. Arthur's mouth, I would say. Nearly there, just around this corner. Just around the corner. Yeah. Now you head in there, friend. Go on. A fork in the road. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <coughs> oh, damn. Look at all the tonics. Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's doctor, mister, to you. I'll see I'm sorry. Sorry, I was sorry. Joking. Friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, Ooh, he doesn't what's look wrong? well at all. I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them and I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. And say ah. Ah. Uh. 
What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Damn, tuberculosis. Not it's good. A Not good. Disease. You'll be. Now, the best thing is rest. Getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Just having a yeah, smoke, Mimi. Uh, well, I've got tuberculosis. Let me get you a little bit more energy today. Hmm. Well, I'm not really, um, fit to fight, am I? Minus ten dollars. So we good? Kind of trying to whistle. change what's done. Oh. Nothing is thinking. You have it in you, I can tell. Well, actually, you have a choice. Oh. He's reminiscing. I understand if you don't want to help me, but but I think of you often. What's that? I'm gonna have to follow that. You are sick. While sick, you can only get me from food and drink. Every time. I might just feed the horse. Alright, let's go and see Sadie. Icarus <coughs> and friends. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um, Guam? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Cause he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening... Years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? 
I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Jose. Mm. Oh, he's at Jose's. So that too. Oh, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. <laughs> Follow you. Yep. Alright, let's go. Actually could have probably done with a sleep so, before that. What's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. But it's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. A hot air balloon. Now, That's the way to get up. Whatever you call him. He thinks there's no just planes in really in these days. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Karen's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson. Well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. She a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Oh, nice. That's a Mr. nice balloon. Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha ha ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? <laughs> can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. Back in these days. I thought everyone knew days. about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens Only above. back in these days, oh, I could say ah. that. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh. pull on that rope uh. and hope for the best. There's ah. R2. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay. Here goes nothing. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. That's we nice. We still have some decent views over the That's river. That's really nice. I guess we got to fill up the R2. Course, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really, oh, really? is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. I guess this is the only, this is the only way they could fly in those days. But it is cool when you see the plane, the clouds for the first time. Oh. On top oh of the clouds, that God. is. You yes. are at the altitude with the best wind. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Low remains this altitude to get Feels your speed like up. We have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. So I think I've got to stay in this yellow this area. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. 
Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Sure, you shouldn't be doing this. Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, didn't she? Whoa, there. Yeah, no so stay in the higher. yellow. So I'll basically let it drop and then keep going again once it hits that bottom line. Right now. There we go. There we go. Author and Arturo. How perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian age. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I'm trying to concentrate here. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, look at the train. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. Maybe he's off the throttle there, sir. Oh, yeah, I went over. I wasn't watching. I was looking at the view. Looking at the view. You don't want to fall in the water. There's guaranteed gators. That's better. Look, we can see for miles now. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't exactly. Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in the mental asylum? <laughs> I did not, Mr. Bullard. I'm guessing it's over this island, maybe? See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. Ah, oh, well, there you go. You can't really you travel this. Don't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're Long going distances. in for a closer look. It's very, very slow. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny, Al. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Oh, you can see the minimum altitude is shrinking. It's getting lower and lower. Oh, yeah, I can see chain gang guys. Oh, yeah, he's probably near. Oh, no. Can't do anything. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. That ain't John. All right, let's try one of the other fields. Should we, uh... Think about heading back. Oh, there he is. Looks like it. It's hard to tell, though. Yeah, that's him. Ah, my God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us. I can see that. Ascent! Ascent! Oh, crap. Didn't I tell you this would happen? All I can do is ascend. The wind is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwest 
Sully, so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Oh well, we saw John. That's good. Uh, we're it's quite recognizable. Now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job are not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. Mrs. Adler? We're being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. Here we go. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Oh, I was, I was aiming for the wrong one. Hey, safe! Up here! Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. Oh dear, that boiled egg was decidedly scrambled. Ah, uh, so they're gone. Oh, she messing with the old Driscoll's right now. So we got them all. Nice. Did we? Oh no. Soundtrack. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh oh. Here it goes. Use the rope to pick up Sadie. Look out! There's a bridge up ahead! Okay. I'll come down and get you on the other side. Lower, Arthur! Lower. Lower. Too low now. Up a bit. Oh, shit. Get it. Get it. I'm lifting, I'm lifting, and I'm r 2 I'm doing everything right now. Arthur! Get... I think we're gonna crash. We have a real habit of seeing the obvious, Arthur. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe. Damn it, look! There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old crystals! You can't leave them for one day! Just kill these sons of bitches! Oh yeah. Dude, sorry, horse. Oh, 
Alright, good. Let's go over here. Oh no, another one here. Jolly Jacks. Come on. What? I think I need to eat something. This gun will be better anyway. Got him. Damn, there's a few of these guys still. I thought there was only a few left. Look at those cowards! Yeah, you run! I'll catch up with you soon enough! Looks like we made it! Show I'm gonna loot a few of these guys while I can. Oh, damn it! I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kinda liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I we have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston! You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No, but from the fields, yes, that we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bump. A little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say. Copperhead boss. Landing. I heard that. All right, guys. You know what I'm gonna do. I am gonna loot. I do not. What am I eating? I should have picked. It's probably dangerous. Oh, oregano. I think in US they say oregano. Take some of these. All right, guys. Yep. Time to head back to the Kay. I've just looted all those guys. Didn't get much, but all good. What was that?
Alright guys, back to camp. Time to sleep and save. Alright, we've just slept and saved. And I'm kind of confused where I am, aren't I? I don't need any of that. Alright, let's go talk to Dutch. Hello. See what's going down. Actually, do I need any of this stuff? Canned fruit? Why not? Alright. Hello again, Arthur. G'day, mate. Guaranteed crocs in there. Whoop. Taking the scenic route. Taking the scenic route. Through the bushes. That's Once no free and country. for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily actors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my, my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning the chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I've seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we there just... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you can take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Hmm. Is he getting a bit paranoid? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? So, where are we going now? To the yellow dot. We say Micah? Was that it? Okay. Oh, no, it wasn't Micah. Oh, he's doing something, Micah. We're doing something with Charles. Be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. Spoofy fruit country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. Let's go. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah, I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. This walking's been weird. Uh, I walk, he doesn't walk, he walks way. fast. Follow I me. can't walk fast. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. Yeah! It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge upriver, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Taking you into Might cinematic. What do you think? Oh, I got to talk. Um, let's ride the horse. Arthur? I 
say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay, sure. It's good to see you. Did you see more guns I got, guys? Alrighty. Yeah. And Charles, you too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Isaiah. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. This oh, ride. Come on. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified and of the cinematic. place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just... It's been... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom. Of course. There's the bridge. Here we go. So what what was the bridge? Oh. Cutscene. That's that's dangerous. Where are we? It's not much further now. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into rainsfall and eagle flies, the Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. Uh, that's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Manisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Great. Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here. It's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near. Even the law. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. Damn. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Alright. Follow me, stay quiet. Oh yeah, it's definitely bad guys. Let's get closer to him. Oh. They're up here. They're up here. Come on. Best to be following him. Oh, come on, up this way. Oh, oh. I'm not afraid. Oh, 
Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the, the other. Well, how about I do the skinny? Then who do the carrier? You're a son of a bitch, you know that? Oh. Oh. oh yeah, I forgot I had a bow and arrow. You're right. Oh no. Close. Oh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. No. Did I take a bow and arrow? What? Poor decision. Okay. Let's see what's going on. That's a stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. Oh. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? I'm gonna head into the cave and flush them out with dynamite. Hmm. Dynamite? Hmm. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. Dude, these guys are creepy. Look at this crap. Okay. They live in the cave. Get in a bit closer and then throw it into the cave. I'm doing it. Fuck. Have these guys got anything? Dynamite, yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna loot for a sec, guys. If they got dynamite, I want more dynamite. I don't want to go in too far. Alright guys, I've just looted a whole bunch of them. Picked up some dynamite, which is nice. But these guys are vicious. Gotta keep an eye out. Got my dead eye up. Someone's down there, she's alive! Someone's down there, she's alive. Is that what you're Oh shit. Damn. 
wonder which one's better. Oh shit. Don't press cover. Give me another Jolly Jack. This is intense. Let's keep going. I'm not even going to loot. And that's a lot coming from me, right? Scared the shit out of me. Yeah, he scared the shit out of me. I'm taking it slow, guys. Dude, imagine being locked up with those guys. They are rough. They are rough. It's okay, miss. It's okay. It's okay. You're safe. Dude, that's scary. That's scary. Poor girl. Poor girl. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Why did I bring a bow and arrow? Can someone please tell me? Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her then. I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss. You okay to ride on my horse a little? Dude. I'll keep you safe. Arthur looks sick. She looks pretty bad too. I'm sure she will. Oh, let's get out of here. Yes. They... 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 Um, it's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. Just... Try to breathe. They're animals. I know. Yeah. They were actually one hit kills with the machete. I actually had. It's alright, miss. Anyway. That's why I was going so carefully through the cave. Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name? Yes. It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Damn, those people were crazy. It was actually really tough. As I said, they were like one hit kills with their machete. If they had guns, it's actually okay. Because they just run at you. And you know how slow these guns are to reload. And I bought a bow and arrow. Alright. Cinematic. Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. 
Oh, this might be it. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Mama. Mom. Saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. The Murphy Group got us. Oh my God. How did you manage well, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. I'm gonna decline it. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. Nah. Dude, they look sick. This is down. Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. What happened there? I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm not sure. Oh damn, we're back at How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. <laughs> Took her home. Oh. You and Mike can find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. I found her drunk in San Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and drunk. The master, the Lord Molly, God Almighty. calm down. I won't be ignored. Josh Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't even stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told him, and I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? Oh, what? shit. Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I oh, wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, shoot She's me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told <laughs> on me. No, you betrayed so me. Why? Just calm down. Arthur? <laughs> Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You oh shit! Oh, oh, oh damn! She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you, Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson? Get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Get back to work. Oh shit. Chapter 6. I actually can't read that word. Was it beaver? Hollow? We'll have to wait and see. Drinking. And here's the last chapter, actually. Which is very cool. Dude, he still doesn't look well. <coughs> Alright, guys, on that note, it's time to save, and I'll see you next time.